Hi, betting experts. On Saturday the 16th of October, we're off to Ascot for the six Champions Day races on ITV on Saturday. Brilliant racing, the 10th running of this Champions Day. For once, the ground isn't going to ruin it. Usually we seem to be soft or heavy ground at this time of year, predictably, but we've had a drying week and I think it's going to be good to soft, no worse at all by the time we get to racing on Saturday afternoon. There's some thrilling races. Obviously, you're catching horses at the end of a long, hard season. Perhaps some of them won't give their running. We're looking for some bigger prices in the main. We start off with our value angle selection. In the 350, this is the big one, the Quipco Champion Stakes, Group 1, over a mile two, and I'm going to side here with the frustrating but very talented Al Arzi, who's over 20 to 1, and I think that's an extremely fair price for a horse of his ability. Now, most punters will have lost faith in him. I was certainly very disappointed last time out when he curled up for pressure we were on. He was smashed in the market, and he looked sure to win for most of the straight, but we can tame him in the final furlong. I think he might be well suited by this slightly better ground he's a very strong traveler they should go a proper gallop here and a horse of his abilities if the cards do fall right that could look a very very big price i'm sure he'll outrun those odds whether he goes through with it off the bridle is a matter of debate but at the prices i think he's the one to side with jim crowley's books and they should be producing him late for our nap of the day, we go to the 2 o'clock. This is the Kipco Champion Series Sprint Stakes Group 1, six furlong, three-year-olds and upwards. Fantastic race. Dragon Symbol has been an absolute superb advert for the training skills of Archie Watson throughout the season. He's run really well. He's been on the wrong side of the track a couple of times, notably at Goodwood. He's a top-class sprinter when everything falls right. And I think the drying ground conditions will very much suit him. It'll probably be decent ground on that straight six furlong course. And I think he's He's a class above these. He's around about six to one. It's an extremely fair price. The remaining four races on ITV, the 125, the long distance cup, group two, two miles. Well, True Shan confounded me at Paris Longchamp. Knew he'd love the testing ground conditions. Wasn't sure at all about two mile four, but he tanked through the race. It was a true run contest. He settled really well. He quick and clear in the style of one who's not going to be beaten in this division for a very long time. Alan King is absolutely flying. He's having winners on the jumps as well now. They're hitting their top stride. And I think that good to soft ground would be absolutely ideal. He's a strong traveler with a sharp turn of foot. And I think he'll beat his old rival Stradivarius again. The 235, the British Champions, Phillies and Mares Stakes, Group 1, one mile four for three-year-olds and upwards. Well, Ishada of Roger Varian was really disappointing when last seen out at York in August, but she's had a couple of months to freshen up since, and I loved her run at Ascot on quickish ground in the Ribblesdale at the Royal Meeting. She pulled really hard there. I thought it was an amazing run to take second. If she can get back on track, freshened up by a couple of months off, I think she's the value at the prices. The 310, the Queen Elizabeth the second stakes group one three-year-olds and upwards over a mile well Baid, I am a believer in Baid. I know some people aren't too sure what he's beaten and weren't that impressed time-wise last time out but for me he's won all five starts he only started racing in June at Leicester and he's been an absolute revelation the success story of the summer in a season where William Haggis has been running at 25% all year pretty amazing and he's absolutely blistering form at the moment Haggis I think he's around 40% in the last 14 days they are all winning and I thought he was just ridden to do just enough when only workmen like last time out I'm pretty confident he can improve past these and I think he's nudging two to one that is a very fair price and the 430 the Balmoral handicap over a mile well Escobar of David O'Mara is now seven he's hardly getting any younger but he's run with credit in the frame for most of the season he had an excuse last time out he's often been caught too far back running on strongly they're bound to go a mad gallop here on drying ground and I think if Adam Kirby can find any daylight in the closing stages he should go really close look for firms offering six places play each way I think you're sure to get a return best of luck with all six Champions Day races on Saturday betting experts